Cyberpunk 27 Gal. Oh. Um. series I'm starting, um, super bored, out of my mind, so I thought I'd play, um, not all, but most of the PlayStation Plus games that have been given to us throughout the years, starting off with, uh, 2064, um, never really saw anything of this game, uh, and then I'll continue alphabetically order down the list. I'd probably skip out some of the big name games and whatnot, but just thought I'd Neo San Francisco 2064 AD The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. It's like, imagine we had Ready Player Easier One. Easier oh access my God. to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. <sighs> Sounds like me. By the way, if you hear a noise in the background, they like see the wrongs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, that is also leading humans to a place where we can never a come back. Using mode. the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of That's progress, a cat. fearing that unchecked technology Fox. will make us that? lose the very things that make us human. High above the rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, Humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Forever. Oh, I get it wrong. Something, ah, whatever it was. Look, a, a new Cyberpunk adventure. We already got the DLC for Cyberpunk 2077. Before the release date. He's your first uh, run plate. Yeah, <laughs> here we go. Prologue. So I actually did play um, the first 10 minutes of this. Then I noticed that my voice wasn't recording. My lovely, lovely voice. And I could upload that, but then you're just staring at straight nothing. So it'd be kind of stupid. Home sweet home. This is a point-click game, I believe. First time I ever played a... I'm pretty sure it's the first time I've ever played a point-and-click. I've played shooters like a dumbass, you know? Um... You do stuff like this, like look at your door. Makes you know? it feel safe. You can also talk. I guess you can actually talk. I haven't tried it. Uh, you can talk to everything. <laughs> If anything, if you're curious to that one person watching my ID card, <laughs> take a sip of the coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. It also, it's also really gross. I apologize if I can't read. <laughs> Try my best. Careful, the poor thing is more fragile than a snowflake. Poor flower. Um. and carton of spoiled milk, which is developed in older. Maybe the small milk has more, has one more good thing to it, maybe? Yes. I'm, is, I've drank expired milk before. It's not that 
have that. I haven't tried spoiled milk. Almost did once in coffee, and I noticed like the film on it. I wasn't paying attention to the smell. I was just, you know, <laughs> waking up. Um, just zoom through this really quick. These are my beats. Um, so what we are is a, from what I gathered, a product reviewer, a journal. able to use them with some things lying around on your apartment. That being Lappy, old reliable laptop. Um, Lappy is a bit of a that dollar though. You have an article due tonight, better finish it before bed. So the article was to test, is to test out the headphones. Um, Testing. The GX Ultra Beats sync to Lappy automatically as you connect to one of the less pornographic feeds. <laughs> Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and a live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Old concert recordings, please. Lappy speakers feel neglected, but now you have the first hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. The first part of the work is done, you're so accomplished. And then we go on by uh, writing our review. Selling your soul bit by bit, character by character. Finished. <laughs> now to send it off to the editor. There, your break break. Surely a glowing review of the GX Ultra Beats as you take it out of the poverty and into a book deal, surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. I've looked through the emails earlier. As you can see, past due, rent, uh, scams, and whatnot. OMG Zounds, top right, is the person that sent us the beats uh, to review them. Catch up on some news before you sleep. I look through that. Nothing really exciting. Past due. It's like a 1300 past due on rent. And I know how that feels. Um, yeah, just log out. I'm gonna make this quick. Go to bed. Because the next part after this. Look at that creep by the window. Notice it looked like he had an emo haircut. <laughs> ah, good! You're finally awake! I was also happy that there's actually voice acting in this instead of me having to read everything. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems <sighs> rather inconvenient. It's the pressure for you. Significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? No. I uh, want something. There. <laughs> oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bicep. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Thanks, bud. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. She deleted all my porn. <laughs> Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. All my saved tabs! The surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I'll never find that video again. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? That's what I get paid. <laughs> 
Don't fret! I did manage to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. That's nice, but you still haven't told me why you're here. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden? You know Hayden Weber? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I haven't seen Hayden in over a year. Where is he? I don't really know. That's why I'm here. Excuse my voice acting skills. Help me. You aren't quite my Help only me, hope, Obi but you're certainly the most statistically supported. What makes you believe in that? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Makes sense. Why should I get involved? I haven't seen it in... Uh, no, we have nothing better to do. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. Thanks, bud. <laughs> we'll see about that. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Oh my he God, seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. One Hayden. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. You're not special. Also, I'm gonna click the power button on your head. Who are you, anyway? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. Well, well. I am Turing. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. A side bitch. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. I forgot he keeps talking. Also, look at that cursor. It's the uh, touchpad. Cool, right? Cool, 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 cool. Either to stop his research, or to take it and use it for themselves. <sighs> yep, I'm picking the same option. So chatty. What makes you so special? A regular ROM has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human-seeming, when you talk to them. Although I could have picked the other stuff, but I want to continue picking the same stuff that I picked already. If that makes any difference to the game, you can also see how but I play. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How do you know? 
once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. He's playing God and that's dangerous. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? Duh. You're right. Now <laughs> we're getting a little too philosophical. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Is anyone out for Hayden? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late and has warned me to stay alert. But he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. Fear me? It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. We Indeed, get time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account. And My the car account. has just arrived. I'm broke. Actually, I picked okay. Yeah, I'm a fucking... I wanted to see this, but... Okay, bobblehead. My head does not bobble, thank you very much. <laughs> In addition, I would not expect you to help me without fair compensation. I assure you, there is a story here. Whether you are good enough to find it or not is up to you. I better get rich out of this. I hope you are, for Hayden's sake. Alrighty, lead the way. This is as far as it got last time. I just re 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 hmm, that's <laughs> we'll see it through a little more. Hmm. Well, hmm. the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Huh. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Perhaps a maintenance robot took care of it. You might have been served. You were busy running away. You were busy running Maybe. away. But I find it unlikely. Oh, my, my audio sensors are more sensitive than a human's ear, and I heard Hayden's voice clearly as I made my... tactical retreat. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. It was all a setup. Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. You made a point about the door. Let's just head in. Or be careful. careful. Will do. Whoa. Are you sure he was actually kidnapped? I'm not surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. He's I should have man. stayed and tried to protect him. Yeah, you failed him. Now he's dead. Oh. Hm, of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. You have instant kill mode. Oh, okay. Comforting. <laughs> it would be fun to see you try. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Glad we're on that Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... Failed him. 
We need Excellent to focus point. on finding him. Let's start searching for clues. Let's see. Let me use the cursor actually instead of like pressing this. This. Oh. Uh, let's look at the window. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. I can't this afford light. This window here is where I escaped <laughs> from. Literally can't afford light. I had an electricity bill, dude. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. How did you get down? I took the fire escape. Smart. I love his uh, facial expressions. Let's look at this on the floor. Broken tech. A round component in Hayden's headset. He must have been in the middle of working on something. Should we take it? No, let's bust it. He must have dropped it in the skirmish. Uh, okay, I can't, I can't. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> uh, look at TV. The television is looking through some of Hayden's feeds. Tech banter. Ted's cool tips. Augmented eye. Game console. Let me get the... Damn it, <laughs> I could have made some money. Oh. Did I actually take it? Let me look at the menu. Items. Super swell, no, no. Those damn headphones. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just look at the computer, I guess. That's Hayden's computer. Log in. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Do you know how to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. You're a waste of And tech. before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. He hacked my door easily. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. Thanks. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. Oh, God. Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Well, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna work on that. Can't you just download the knowledge from the mesh net? What does talent have to do with download? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Huh, alright. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. I can think upside down. I lack that I ability. Are you incapable of that kind of creative leap? Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. You're a robot. I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. It's useless. <laughs> Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Abstract art doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. Okay. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. What do you feel? <laughs> Let's get back to search and plug that. I'm guessing these will be his paintings. Photos. Let's see. Pictures of hating traveling the world. Working at a company like Parallax ensures you'll be more than well off. Uh, ROM parts? Ah, oh, the ROM parts. What reason we have for taking this? You don't even own a ROM. No, but I thought I could have. Uh, my bad. I thought I could have used it for the uh, stack of books. Was it the books, I guess? Oh, I think 
I see something under those reference books. A tablet? Ah, Is this a Samsung that Galaxy device. tablet? I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. Alright. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. It looks like there's a place here for a physical memory card. Memory card. Oh, look at that. Let's take this memory card. Add it to the tablet. Oh, the use item on the tablet. A high density memory card. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Hmm, if only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Correct. The tablet calendar says he was supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Bring any digital bills? Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. <laughs> Ask says shell. here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. Night City. <laughs> we can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. My city map? Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. I... Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. Am I getting my own personal robot now? For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Nice. I just need to ask you a few questions. Oh, okay. All right. This is an exciting thing, I promise. Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> you know literally everything about me. Sure, whatever. Let's get this crap over it. Uh, yeah, don't you know everything <sighs> about me? This is just how things are done. I'm sorry. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system. But that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. You're right, alright, I apologize. So, here we go! You can ask me questions. Welcome to the first time user <laughs> setup face. for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. Will this be? I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. <laughs> I'm gonna call them. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Create a name? This name? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I have input your name. Lucy. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Pronouns? The, uh, she, her, uh, he, him, his, his? What? What? He, him, his, his? Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, could you Thanks, tell me boss. your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Restaurant recommend this is. Whoa, let's see the more options. 
Kosher gluten free. Ah uh, man, I should have seen the other options of this thing. Alcohol free. <laughs> God damn it, turning. <laughs> I'm not omnivore. Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. In review. Does that sound right? Thank you. See? That was relatively painless. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. Night City. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Yeah, let's go. I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. Yes, Turing. It will be an efficient use of our time together. What kind of name is Turing? Thank you for escorting me here. Of course, little buddy. Let's head back to your home. This game does not autosave, so please be sure to save frequently. Figure that out from the first run, first little 10 minutes. Oh, all right, that was a prologue. All right, chapter one. All right, so on that note, I'll leave it for the next time. If anyone is actually really watching, or it's just for my memories. When I'm bored and 70 years old. Uh, save. <laughs> I gotta remember how to save. She's not safe. Alright, yep. Uh, save name. Uh, got new. Okay, perfect. <laughs> now we know. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you are watching, if not, you're not watching. <laughs> Stay safe.